morning, Saturday the 6th of April, I think I said March the other day, we're in April, um, somebody said when I'm in my car there's a lot of background noise, I'm not using a microphone, I'm only using the phone as the mic. Let me know if anyone else thinks that the sounds a bit naff in the car, you know. I mean, I can hear the road noise because the car's so quiet, but I don't know if there's other noise. Anyway, it is Saturday and I'm actually off to get Michelle. We are going to get weighed. So, what will this week bring? I've had a good week. I've weighed on an awful week and they've gone up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, so we shall see this morning. And whatever it is, is whatever it is. My ankles are nice and puffy. So, and I didn't go to bed last night. Again. So, they are a bit puffy like. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know what I'm planning on food today because my sister and my nephew are over for two days. They've come on a flying visit from Spain. Well, my sister has. He's um, in uni in London. Um, so, we've got table booked tonight to go to a pub. And the food hasn't got the calories on it. Because it's like a home up, if you know what I mean, like home cooked stuff, it's not like a chain. So we shall see what I have there, but uh, I'll be able to work out obviously, potatoes and stuff will be zero, and fish without batter on it and stuff will be zero. Jacket potato. I think we do jacket potato with beans and cheese. I'm not sure if that's just lunchtime or if it's the main time as well, but if they do, I could do that and just guesstimate the cheese, you know? So I shall let you know what I end up with. But for now, I'm going as I'm nearly at Michelle's and don't forget to check out the weighing video which will be up before this one so I'll catch you guys in the next clip right I have just dropped Michelle home and I'm going home to see what the kids have done because Warren has messaged me to say you're not going to be happy when you come home kids last night were in the garden out the back fine however they were pissing about with the hose and they left the hose on and of course we were in the house we didn't know the hose was on and we're on a water meter and the garden is completely flooded he said Who said it was a good idea to have children? Who said it was? God say. So, if our water bill goes up suddenly, that's the reason. Jesus Christ. I'm dreading going home to see what flipping devastation they've caused. Bloody nightmare. Do my sodding head in sometimes, kids. Anyway, I'm going home to 
potentially help Dexter with his bedroom, but Warren just said Dexter's up doing his bedroom because he wants to make you happy in the hope that you'll not kill him about the garden. I need to unpack my um, thermo cooker and get that sorted out so it's not on the floor in the kitchen. Um, but I also need to do Dexter's bedroom and we're going out later and it's like, have I got time to do all that? And oh, there's not enough hours in the day. Like I say, how the hell did I ever fit in a full-time job with everything else? I don't know. Just being me is a full-time job. So I don't know. Um, right, I'm gonna go and see what they've bloody done to my garden. If I do unpack my um, cooker, I'll show you what it's like. I need to set up an app on it, um, on my phone and stuff. So I'm not quite sure at this moment in time how it works, what it even does and what it cooks. It's got 18 different functions of things that it does. Um, I'm not sure what those 18 functions are. So one was just like, oh, do you want this machine? I was like, ah, oh, go on then. Something to decorate the side for. But you know, I like a gadget, me. So we'll have a look. I may be able to whip up some culinary, um, zero count nice things right I am clocking off now and I'll catch up with you when I'm back home doing whatever I'm doing guys I was about to show you my machine but I'm preoccupied Dexter's cleaning out the guinea pigs so I've got them here. They're actually munching. Your long hair. Don't bite me. Don't bite her. They have got lettuce there. They're, they're both munching away on lettuce. Maybe I should take a bit of advice from them. The, this is Shaggy and this is Scooby. Scooby Dooby. Hmm? So nice. They are very cute. Dex is not impressed because he's uh, cleaning out the guinea pigs. That's the joys of having pets, isn't it? Cleaning them out. Right. I shall show you my cooker, appliance, whatever it is, when I've put these back in their nice clean cage. Mom. Yes. Guys, I am finally unboxing this machine. So it is an all-in-one smart thermo cooker with 18 present functions and it's app guided recipes and I went for black. I think there was two color options. So let's get it open. The help from the old ninja knife. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. This part of the video, we bought this machine. Oh my good God, that's heavy as hell. Um, M, M, M. Mm. Right, it's gonna have to go upside down. Hang on. I 
Oh, like the weeds. this up the right way right that's my washing machine spinning it's a bit noisy Recipe. Is there recipes? No, just the guide. Safety instructions. Hmm, I think I'm have a good read of that. Right, let me shut those up there. Oh, you're having a laugh here yeah. it's a box within a box within a bloody box oh actually this is only a top box looks like it might be accessories or is it a pot right we have one lid Line on the top. Make a big massive scratch. Well, they can send another bloody lid, that's for a start. Hold on. That's just going to bug me because they can see it there. It's not just a little one, it's right along the top. And it's, you can hear it. it, you can get your nail in it. So, I'm not unpacking any more of this now. I've just got, um, I've just gone on to Amazon and I've contacted the seller asking if they can supply a new lid. If they can, fine. If they can't, and I'm gonna send it back. Yes, I am. For what we've paid for this, I'm not keeping it with a scratched lid because it's gonna be on my worktop as well and that will bug me. So whether you think I'm being a moaner or not, I don't care, I'm not keeping it. That's bugged me that. So I'm just gonna pack it up for now just in case they say we've got to send it back and they can't supply a lid. But Warren just said when he went on Amazon, my Ninja sizzle plate is out for delivery today. So that wasn't supposed to be coming until 21st. And you watch, that's going to come when we're out. But yeah, that is, that is the quickest unboxing ever. So I'm going to make something to eat now. So I'll catch you in a bit. Well, let's put a dampener on things. That's my eldest, and you can hear the air fryer going. He's come down to make himself bacon and cheese wraps. And good old mum washes out the air fryer yeah, ready, yeah, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll yeah. wash it off. Oh, of course she will. Anyway, I've got a feeling Amazon or the company will say you've got to send the whole thing back. But I'm prepared to do that. I'm sorry. I will send it back just for a scratch lid, yeah. It's gonna bug the shit out of me. Put the dog behind the thing while I was unboxing so he didn't trip me up. <sighs> I don't know what to eat. All I've had this morning, um, I took a handful of grapes um, with me to group, which I ate, I didn't film them. 
Um, that's all I've had. And to be honest, I'm not that hungry. And I'm like, shall I make a mushroom omelette? Because I've got some mushrooms to use. Can't really be bothered. And we're going out in another... What time is it? Alexa, what time is it? It's 109 p.m. 1.09. How many more have you got the time update then, eh? Um, yeah, I'm not that hungry. I might have... Is that the door? Check it, it might be my ninja. Oh, the door. It keeps going off when there's no one there. Um, yeah, I might have some fruit. Or I might just wait and then I can have something a bit better for my dinner. Do you know what I mean? Well, I've got a nice, um, nice mango to use. Um, I'm getting water all over the floor, you know. And then I'll break my neck. You got mango? Hmm? You got mango? Someone, Someone, is the Someone is at the door this time. There's somebody at the door. Oh, somebody for me. One minute. That was my friend at the door. Right. What I've decided to do, I'm going to have two oranges for my lunch, which is very boring. I'm going to have two oranges and I'm not going to have any meals. I haven't had breakfast and I haven't had lunch because I'm going out for dinner. You know, when you go out and you're trying to be good and you think, oh, I won't have that because that would be that many calories. Or I won't have that because that'll be that many calories. If I have nothing now, because we're going out in... What is it? What time is it now? Four and a half hours we're going to be eating. If I have two oranges, I'm sure I can last till six o'clock. Um, which will enable me then to not be so picky on the menu. So I'm going to do that. So I can enjoy myself, but not think, oh my God, I've gone completely out of my plan. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have two oranges, which I won't bother showing you because you all know what an orange looks like. I'm going to go and put some washing on and I will catch up with you in the next. Guys, I'm on my way to Tesco's again. I need to get an emergency pair of trainers for Dexter. These trainers are thick with mud. They're wet. Um, so I'm just nipping up here to get him some trainers. So he's, he looks half decent when we go out for food. Um, I don't think there's any food I'm picking up in Tesco's. Them two oranges I said I was going to have. I got waylaid and didn't e even have them. So I'm surprised I am not ravenous. I don't know why I'm not ravenous. It's half past three um so i need to get a move on because we're going out in two hours warren said to me while well, i was there he's like oh why are you in tesco we get me a t-shirt and some socks i was like for god's sake um but yeah it's nothing i particularly need i don't think apart from them but i'm sure i'll just have a quick look I don't do quick, but I have a quick look. Um, but yeah, so I'm nipping into Tesco on my own. I might actually pick up some fruit. Oh dear, there's a car broke down right in the middle of the roundabout. That's dangerous. I bet they'll get someone come round and um, go up their bum. Hopefully not. Right, I'm just nipping to Tesco and I'll see what I get. Hopefully not too much. Guys, I'm just back in the car. Got the window open, it's a bit windy. Go around Tesco's, I thought, oh, I'll get some fruit. And then I was miles away from the fruit. Then I rang my sister to see if my mum wanted a paper. She didn't answer. So I went miles and miles away from the paper. Then she rang me back. Yeah, can you get her a paper? So I went all the way back. So I wasn't going to go 
to the fruit as well. So at the end of the aisle, they had these protein bars on offer, quite a few flavors, 198 calories. I haven't had anything um, today other than a drink. So I'm gonna have that, 198 calories, and that will definitely do me until I go out for my food. What calendar for my mother? My mother doesn't like dogs, never had a dog in her life. Um, but she keeps saying, oh, I need a calendar, I need a calendar, I want a calendar, I, need, I want a calendar. And everywhere we go, they haven't got one. Well, there was a couple of these reduced to £1.25, so I've just picked it up. And if she don't like it, she can friggin' lump it, can't she? Um, paper, <laughs> lovely sun that she always watches. Watches, reads. I picked up some stuff in the sale rail and some that wasn't. I picked up just a plain black t-shirt for Warren um, with a collar. He likes the t-shirt with a collar. I got that. I picked up a t-shirt for Dexter. Didn't realise they were two for eight pound. I would have got him two, fiver. And then I got a load of t-shirts for Jackson. Just a green khaki one. It's a bit difficult showing you in the car. It's got Sonic on it. Sonic on the back. He'll probably turn around and say, Oh, Mum, that's so babyish. But even for going out playing, it was reduced to a fiver. I bought some age 13 to 14 joggers. Reduced to six quid. I got a camouflage type t-shirt. Reduced to £3.50. Just a green t-shirt with a pocket on the chest. Three quid. And then another long sleeved green and black one. £3.50. So you can't go wrong. Whenever I see clothes on the sale rail for the kids, I'll always pick them up because they go out, they come back with holes in their um trousers and all sorts so they're a bog put them down there what else did i get oh pringles were on offer so i bought some pringles original and prawn cocktail 155 calories for 30 grams of the um prawn ones and 160 for the plain McCoy's steak crisps, Warren's favourite crisps, 131. And had these on offer as well, Barney's. Remember Barney's? Been out years. Chocolate ones are 99 calories. And then they've got milk ones for 97. So I picked up them. Um, I'll put them in there. Hello. Just trying to think where the paper's gone, we had. Oh, it's up there. And then I picked up just a plain black pair of trainers. So expensive their trainers, considering they're a supermarket. You can go to J, like, what's it called? Sports Direct by me and get a pair for like 9 99 But, oh, it was easier to come here. These were like 18 pound. I got a black pair with a white. Dexter's had about eight pairs of these and he just wrecks them. And I got Warren some reduced socks for quid because they were there and he said, I'll give me socks. So I get him the reduced ones, you know. And then I got the kids some socks. They weren't in the sale. That's all I got. I say all I got. Came to £93, all that. Right. I'm going to go home, drop 
hopefully my mother will be back because my sister's taken her out she's got a new washing machine but it's out of stock so they place the order and they'll be in stock next month i think so it is now quarter past four so I best get going and make sure all my kiddie winks are ready right I shall see you in a bit but I'm gonna see what this protein bar's like some of them just haven't got it of there but Mm. That's a nice one, that is. Very nice. I like my handbag. Right. I shall go. And hopefully... They haven't been all fighting and arguing while I've been out. Because that's usually the case. I shall catch up with you guys in the pub where I decide what I'm going to have for my dinner. A football top, one of the kids' football tops. Um, I'm actually feeling quite proud of myself because we've got in from the pub. I've been down my mum's talking to my sister and my nephew, been having a laugh. Um, and when we were in the pub, there were some really delicious choices which you would have seen on the menu. I went for salmon. Skin on the salmon was so crispy. Um, I just was like, oh my God, crispy skin on a salmon is lush. I left that, didn't eat it. It came with chips, so I said, oh, have you got any other options? And she said, oh, jacket or mash. So I went for a jacket. It was boring, but it was nutritious and it was nice. I could have gone for this massive burger that the kids had that looked banging, like onion... Um, what you call them? Onion rings. There was cheese in it. There was mayonnaise in it. That would have been well over a thousand calories just on a burger without the chips, the coleslaw. So, dessert menus came along. And every time we go out, I've got to have a dessert. I just love ending on a dessert. Starter or dessert? I'll always miss a starter, but I'll always have a dessert. Um, Everybody was ordering their desserts. Like chocolate fudge cake and these caramel gattos. And I was thinking to myself, you don't need it. You just want the taste in your mouth. You don't need it. And in group, I was like, I'm going to try and stick to sort of 500-ish calories this week and see what difference it makes on the scales next week. So I said no. My sister didn't have a dessert, but she's like a friggin' rake anyway. She's really skinny. And she's very um, health conscious where I'm not. We're totally different. So she didn't have one. I didn't have one. Um, and Harrison, my nephew, didn't have one because he, he's into fitness and stuff. He doesn't eat crap. So, um, yeah, I was quite proud of myself for that. So I've now come home. I'm sitting down. It's gone 10 o'clock. But I fancy something to eat. 
So I looked in the fridge. My fridge is rammed. I couldn't even see what was in there, but it was all rammed with good food, not crap stuff. So I've made this. There was some total yogurt left in there, about a quarter of a pot. So I've put in there blueberries, strawberries, tiny bit of sweetener, mixed it all up, and I've crushed four Biscoff biscuits into it. You know the ones you get in the packs of two? So today I have come in. Wait, I can't remember the figures. Over 800 calories that I've not used today. So all in all, for my dinner tonight, I counted um, for some balsamic glaze because there was a little drizzle of that on the lettuce. So all together today, I have used this many. The thing, desserty thing I'm about to eat now is this many. Um, and what I have got left over is this many. So, yeah, I've, I've had a good day today. A very good day. Pleased with myself. So tomorrow is Sunday. My sister's gone home in the morning. Um, I'm going to do something tomorrow with a chicken, I think. I might do a chicken dinner, maybe. I've got chicken drumsticks in the fridge that the kids will have. And I've got chicken breasts as well. So I might make some sort of cooked dinner. I shall see. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I'm going to enjoy that now while I watch a bit of the tube. And I'll see you tomorrow. And my hair's getting very long. I don't know if you've noticed, guys. But I am growing it now. You know? As I get slimmer, my hair will be longer. But yeah. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.